I've lived, as I said, an incredible 20 plus years. I've lived a life that also has happened to heal me enough to know absolutely that we can heal enough. But I have a couple of recommendations. The first is a culture-specific or relevant support system for victims. We have a beautiful healing facility here, and it's doing amazing work with its, with its uh, inmates. Nothing for victims. Where do they go for supports, programs? For every abuser, there's at least five victims. We need to invest in these equal facility, programming, help, professional help um, facilities for victims. We need more healing centers. Every region should have one. But we need them for the victims too. There needs to be a major overhaul in the way a, a case is investigated. Life here is different, very, very different. We live in incredible, unique environments, beautiful ones. But life here is different. Our relationships with a criminal and a victim is different. How we approach investigating, information collecting needs to be um, community relevant, Inuit community relevant. I think we also should have, as part of the investigation process, if they don't already have one, a advisory group from the community to give proper family history. I think knowing families helps. In the investment for victims, and this is, this is the, this is where it gets challenging for all of us. I think there, when we talk about reconciliation, and we know there are so many generations of victims and abusers. It's rampant incest. Many abusers themselves are victims of, uh, of all kinds of abuses. We need to find a period, I define a period of time. If we call it a forgiveness period, I don't know what we call it. But a time when an abuser exhibits a willingness to heal. And I think for a little while, we're going to have to, as hard as it's for, it is for me to say it, we're going to have to provide that opportunity so that they have an opportunity themselves to heal and to have closure. Having said that, pedophiles don't heal. They can't change. Predators will always be predators. There has to be a clear line between those with a willingness to heal and those we know will not. I can name four people right now that should be charged, but get away because they are in positions of power and they're predators. They get away with it. There has to be a clear line. 
until our communities are healed enough. And it's going to be a period of time, I don't know what that period of time is, but a forgiveness period, a veil of understanding, whatever we call it. That's the unique position our communities are in. There's so many, probably every day, 